Hey guys, welcome back. We've got the last lesson in the fraction series. It's the third one. Make sure you've watched the other two before you watch this one so you understand how fractions operate. We have a lesson coming up about, what are we going to look at here? This time? We're going to look at how to decide which fractions are bigger, which are smaller, which ones are the same size. Not so much the third one, but we're going to decide which are bigger and which are smaller. How to put them in order, essentially. How to order them. Enough of this. Let's start. Which fraction is greater? We have one-third, we have two-thirds. We've got to decide. So what does one-third look like? What does two-thirds look like? So you understand where we get one-third from. We have one selection, that's the red, and we have three altogether. Three. How about the two? Where's the two for the green? We don't care about the two. We're, we're looking at the one. We're looking at this here. We're looking at just red. That's all we're looking at. And we have three all together. This one, we're looking at the same thing. Red, two are red, three all together. That's where the denominator comes from. Again, review the other lessons before you watch this one. Are you going to be so confused? Which is more? Of course, this one, because it takes up more space. See how it's more, more red than this one? And imagine it this way. If this was pizza or pie or cake, who ate more and who ate less? For sure, this person ate more. And this person ate less. Okay, so two-thirds is more than one-third. How about these two? Which is greater? Is four-fifths greater or two-fifths greater? Draw a picture. You have to draw a picture. It's worth marks. So I'm not drawing pizza or pie. I'm drawing rectangles here. Keep it simple. And I colored four. The five means I have five pieces all together. And this one, I have to make five pieces, but I can only color two. See the top two. Did I say the top? Remember I said I'm never going to say the top or the bottom? I'm going to say numerator and denominator. Denominator signifies, it indicates to us how many pieces we have all together. We have five. Whereas the numerator tells us how many we've selected, which is the two. Which is more? Which is greater? Is it this one? No, it's this one. It's more. <laughs> Write the fraction for the colored part. That's part one. Colored part, that's the red. Write the fraction for each. And then decide which fraction is going to be less. Which one is less? Is it this one or is it this one? Well, first we have to write the fraction. It tells us to. So our denominator for this one is going to be three here and three. There's six pieces all together. And we have three are red. The colored part here is going to be, well, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five. We still have six. That's good. And we have two are colored. So forget how, forget that these slices look bigger than each of these. And which one has more colored pieces? That's going to be the greater one. Which one has less colored pieces? That's going to be the less one. This one has two colored. This one has three colored. Which is less? This one is. So this one is wrong. No! 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 No meaning, yeah, it's wrong. And this one is correct. This is less. Now it's your turn. So we have two questions coming up. Here's the first one. Write the fraction for the colored part of each illustration. So we want the fraction for each of these. And after you do that, I want you to arrange, arrange them in order from greatest to least. Put them in order. Put the fractions greatest first and then the least last. Go ahead, pause the video, write everything down. Make sure you're writing the stuff down, guys, so you can check your answers over. All right, time is up. Let's see how well you did. Well, I mean, you, you paused the video, so uh, I'm not rushing you here. So the fraction for this one, you should have gotten one, two, three as your numerator, and your denominator is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six all together. Again, we're focusing on the colored part only. So we have three colored ones. We're at three over six. This one here, the colored part, let's get our denominator first. We have six for our denominator. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and only two are colored. And this one we have one, let's see, one, here, let's change colors so we can see it. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six is still our denominator. However, the colored ones are going to be one, two, three, four are colored. Now we have to put these in order from greatest first. We have to put the greatest one first. And then second biggest would be three. 
because 4 out of 6 is more pieces than 3 out of 6. And 2 out of 6 is going to be the least amount because 2 is the smallest. So you see the denominators. Are they, are they changing? Of course they're not changing. They, they stay the same because they all have 6 pieces. So denominator stays 6. Our numerator, put them in greatest to least. 4 is the greatest. 2 is the least. And the last question, another pizza one, just like lesson 2. In fact, it's very similar, except now I'm telling you how many each eat, and they all eat a different amount. So go ahead, solve this question, pause the video, write everything down, and check it in a minute. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Pizza has 12 slices, and I don't like to make anything too fancy, so I'm just going to make, let's see, I'm going to do, how am I going to do this? Uh, let's make 12. Let's create 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we have Jill. She comes over, and what does Jill do? It says Jill ate two slices. That's Jill. So she eats two, and then along comes Matt. And right, we're going to change colors for Matt. We're going to make Matt yellow. So Matt comes along, and what does Matt eat? It says Matt ate four slices. So he's gonna. He's really hungry. He's gonna go one, two, three. Four. And then Sandy comes along. Let's make Sandy purple. Sandy ate one slice. She's not that hungry. And then Jared, he eats three. Uh, what color can we make Jared? How about, let's do, let's do white. So Jared, he eats three. So we're going to have one, two, three. And now it says, state the fraction of the pizza that each person ate. Well, let's see. Jill, she ate two. And the, that's our numerator. Denominator is going to be 12 because we have 12 all together. doesn't matter if they've been eaten or not. They count because they were there to begin with. So we have 2 over 12. Matt. Matt eats 4. He was hungry. He eats 4 out of 12. Sandy comes along. She's the purple one. She eats only 1 out of 12. See, 12 doesn't change. It's our denominator. It's how many we had to start with. We had 12. And then who's left? We have Jared. He eats he eats three slices. So he eats one, two, the, the white ones. So he's got three out of 12. Which fraction now is the greatest fraction? Which is the greatest? Who ate the most? Which is the biggest amount, the largest? Well, she only ate two out of 12. He ate four out of 12, three out of 12. That's a lot. Uh, I think Matt wins four out of 12. Which fraction is the smallest? One out of 12. It looks like one out of 12. That's less than 2, less than 3, less than 4. So 1 out of 12. And that's it, guys. That's all you have to understand for grade 3 math regarding fractions. Um, go back and watch these videos again, guys. Make sure you're very, very good at this. Make sure you're really, really good at fractions before you move on to anything else. I'm glad I got a chance to make these videos for you. I'm very happy I did. I hope you've all benefited from them. And uh, take care. I'll see you in the next unit.